Hello, welcome to this new class. Today we will talk about the uh, materials definition of cross sections. The software CivilFem has the complete the library of, of materials. All the mechanical properties will be automatically defined, but they always can be edited. And uh, besides uh, these standard properties, uh, elasticity modulus, Poisson ratio, thermal expansion coefficient, besides the properties for a structural analysis, you have properties for the code checking and design, which are strengths uh, and partial uh, safety coefficients, uh, etc. And these are some of the data you can check in the material, the stress and strain diagram, and the different charts that are, that are available and they can be edited in case you are defining a nonlinear behavior you can always change the, the behavior to the ones you, you like. The software has a complete library uh, of, of materials, including steel, concrete, reinforce, reinforcing steel, processing steel, and, and geotechnical materials, rock and soils. And as well, the behavior, the constitutive law for soils and rock can be changed from linear to non-linear. We'll see that in the software. So we have here our interface. We define, for example, a steel material selecting any code or standard available and then once we have this code we can select the material from the library once we click ok we have all the mechanical properties there and we can check many other properties the code properties for these ones are the partial safety factors for the euro code and the design stress and strain diagram that's for just for the called the uh, checking. This is the stress and strain diagram, which can be, all these points can be edited if you if you want. If you want to set your own data for each point, uh, it can be, it can be done. This property, this code properties depend, depend on the structural steel uh, standard selected. The, we have selected uh, the euro code, but if we uh, create uh, if we select another code on the standard, this, in this case the an American code, you you can see now that the properties will will change. In this case, the yielding yield limit, uh, you can see that we can change the units as well, and for any units, you can see there the yield strength of this steel material. If uh, the default case is the linear uh, linear material, we can set for the analysis stress and strain diagram that will be uh, to resolve the structural analysis. Here we can see our analysis stress and strain diagram with uh, other other points. We can, we can change again the the units. You can check here. This, the difference between the, the the analysis and design diagram is that the the, the design one is uh, just for the code checking, and analysis will be used for the structural uh, analysis. The hardening type can be can be changed as well to different types. If you want to 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 perform a, a transient analysis, uh, dynamic analysis, there are uh, other data dumping. It can be added for the concrete case uh, the same we have a, a complete library of materials in this case as, as you know concrete is a time dependent material so uh, there are some data which can be different for its uh, age uh, for evolutive or construction process other property as the young modules uh, has different uh, values depending on the on the days by default characteristics of the material are for the 28 days, the full strength of the of the concrete, and other data uh, which depend on the as always on the selected code will be available uh, as well. Here you can see the characteristic and compressing strength of this uh, concrete material. Well, another data that's important: concrete is cracking. Uh, if you want to perform a non-linear 
uh, analysis, you can check these properties in this a very interesting example shown in the work examples, data which can be constant or variable. If you want to add crossing as well, uh, you can do it. Well, that's uh, we have a steel concrete reinforcing steel processing and as well a geotechnical materials which are rocks and soils and has uh, depending on on the, this classification which, which follows the Casa Grande uh, classification we can select different uh, rock and soil materials important for this type of, of materials that we well, we can see the different densities depending on if we want to take into account the water or not and the behavior uh, by default always linear elastic but you, you can see that we have many type of uh, many types of, of material models uh, if you have the data of cohesion and and friction angle you can you can add it so we'll start a nonlinear analysis so and check in detail some uh, plasticity areas well on the generic case well you can just uh, define a young modulus Poisson ratio density after the definition of the materials we can uh, create our cross sections for our beam truss or cable elements uh, each cross section will define the geometry in a perpendicular plane to the beam's axial direction and it can have a constant or different cross section at each end and later we'll see that for the case of the reinforcement, reinforcement definition you can define uh, different zones of uh, rebars at the same uh, structural element you can define uh, steel sections, con concrete sections following a, a library by dimensions and uh, we can define our own sections as, as well you can see this uh, in the software the same tab in model tab here we have all the different options for this cross-section definition for steel we have th these three options well, and the cable uh, as well we have from library we can define it by plates creating our own plate and by these typical dimensions we can add it we have already steel material we have just to select the material and then the different shapes and the code of the standard you have a uh, most of the European Indian American we can add any any other uh, library if you need it and you can set here different option. We can define two two of them for steel. We have here the different dimensions. Can show its its shape and the different mechanical properties of areas, inertias. We have defined two steel sections and we will define concrete sections we have all different all these different options by the dimensions and as well we can define our own section by capture and if we define a concrete and set if you want centimeters 30 20 our first section and another one C2 we can show the concrete sections and the other so here we have them we can see now how to use these cross sections to mesh our, our beams so if we have our lines, we just define our lines, one line here, another line here, or two lines, 
we will use beam this beam option this is to roll element this beam truss and cables are linear elements beam structural elements have bending stiffness truss in take into account only axial forces and cable structural element it's a non-linear special non-linear element and its behavior it's an only tension structural element we will use this check our first cure okay i can mess here we have another chapter for meshing but in this case set this just a uniform mesh just click ok we'll ask for a name before meshing here we have our mesh we can change here the orientation if we want here we have we can see the different HUD options see only geometry R and mesh and plot it with different views this is our mesh if we change it you see it's automatically updated and if we don't want a constant section we can change it to tapered and as you can see we have one section here IPE 240 at the end and internally CBFM have created the transition sections okay for the case of concrete, we can do the same. We have a brim. We select our section, and in this case, another line. And we can mesh it. I'm going to orient it as well. Here I have my mesh. And the same. I can define a tapered you can see here how a tapered structural element or we have another option which is by zones in this case what means by zones that we can define the same as tapered but we don't need to find the uh, only different uh, section in, in dimensions but in the, for the case of concrete we can define different uh, river configuration so if we define two zones we can define one section here one configuration of course of C1 another one for C2 if I go to C1 we'll set this with the same dimensions as C1 but here I will define two different reinforcement here if we open the list of reinforcement as a, it's a predefined section may uh, we have the faces already defined the points we have to define an initial and final point the type of definition I need to define first our uh, reinforcing steel I'll just create and this one I will select my material and then I can define for example uh, my definition by number of bars for the top face three bars of 16 millimeters and I can select here the distribution for the bottom face I do the same but I will set more more diameter 
and I can do the same for C2 but adding another another amount for here and here let's show it here it is setting the mechanical cover which is defined here and set for as you can see I set different amount so here it and my second structural element I can define my different zones that will be later in the code checking we will have different results for the case of shell elements we will see that we don't have a, a shell element we will need just to set a thickness material thickness and a geometry and later we'll see the next step how to mesh shells okay this is all for this class uh, stay tuned to the virtual classroom and thank you very much see you in the free course